Hello friends. Today we are going to configure DIR825 router using D-Link Assistant app. So firstly, you have to go to the Play Store and you have to install D-Link Assistant app. So once you install it, you have to open it. Now, this is the first screen which you will be getting. You have to click on select device, turn on the Wi-Fi. You will be able to see the name of DIR825 by default which will be DIR825 itself there will be a Wi-Fi password given on the router you have to select and click on connect once it is connected you will be getting the tick box on the Wi-Fi name then you have to go back here on this screen it will try to connect to this DIR825 router Once it is connected, you will be able to see the IP address of this router, the WAN status of it and the firmware version. You have to click on advanced settings. And since you are trying to configure for the first time, you will be getting the setup wizard and you have to click on start. So let's start. Select the language as English. You can use this advanced settings or continue configuration with the wizard. So we are going to set up this router using the wizard itself. So you have to click on continue. In this connection method, you have to select as wired connection and work mode as router. You have to click on next with respect to your internet service provider you can select the connection type in th in this case we are selecting as dynamic IPv4 and you have to click on next in this screen you will be able to see wherein you can change the Wi-Fi name for the 2.4 so we are changing it and the password Similarly, you can change the Wi-Fi name of 5 GHz. I am keeping the same one. Here you have to click on next which is an IPTV. Next again. And here you can set the password for the router login which I am setting it as admin123. Have to type in the same password over here. Click on next. After that, you will be getting the summary of which you have done the settings on the router. You have to click on apply. Since the router name has changed, you will be able to see the new name.
try to sign for the network name click on connect entering the password so once it is connected the router is configured you can see you can click on the client section and you can see how many devices are connected to it you can click on the share wi-fi option and you can see the wi-fi name and you can see the wi-fi password similarly for the 5 gigahertz and that's about it the router is configured